Hey guys, it's Renoria back with another episode of Let's Play Locho with Pelliston. Uh, when we last left off, we just uh, saved Dory from this door hand camp. And guess what? We're back over here because another one of those dwarves asked us to find the, um, let's see, what was it? Like some door hand plans, I think? It, yeah, door hand plans. Anyway, that's supposed to be somewhere around here. So, you know what? Just go ahead and get it over with. Um, also, I realized that half the stuff that I have to, they asked me to do, is pretty much on the way to the elf, uh, town, camp, whatever you want to call it. Shit. Anyway, door hand plans. I have no clue where they are. So, I'm wondering, are they going to be on someone, or are they going to be, like, let me see. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Uh, door hand plans, that's what I'm looking for. Um, are in a chest somewhere deep in the camp of Oth or, um, past Othokar. Okay, well, deep in the camp. Holy shit, I just realized. Look how many enemies are around here. That is not fun. Hey, guys, guys, give me the plan, and I'll let you live. Just give them to me, I won't bother you afterwards, I just want these plans, and then I'll get the fuck out. So I... So I realized while uh, I was watching my videos the other day, and I realized I barely healed myself. I need to start doing that. It's like if you're capable of it, uh, capable of it, you should. But again, this is the first time I'm uh, I'm playing like anything remotely healerish, like a person who can heal themselves or heal others. So it should be, so they said it should be somewhere back here, in a chest. Hello. You want to help me find something? No? Okay. Um. God, this would be so much easier if they showed you to it, show you it on the map. At least there's no, none of those higher level guys. Like, I'm wondering, where are all the higher level up guys that I was fighting earlier with Dory? I mean, I'm not complaining or anything. I'm guessing that's the chest. Let me see. Center guy is standing in the center, well guarded with a bunch. Of, yeah, yeah. This is the chest. This is the chest. Attack! Wait, why didn't you attack? Uh. Again, I should be killing myself. Okay, my ass kicked by birds. That's embarrassing. Door hand plans! Found them! And a supply crate with money. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to turn this in, um, uh, Feathered Foe says, uh, right, I need to talk to that guy too, but yeah, I'm not going to turn that one I just did in because I'm going to have to go back up to Alpha Car eventually anyway, so I'm just kind of going to leave it in my queue, I mean, take it out of my queue and just. Yeah, see, no, I'm not going to do that right now, because I still have to go get these rooms decipher, deciphered, then I have to do a lot of other stuff, so it's like, no point. point. So next thing I want to do, in, in order of what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to go talk to Orth, Orthon, um, and He's the, yeah, he's the guy we helped to uh, collect herbs up in that earlier episode. So yeah, he's not too far. 
Jesus Christ, these fucking birds. Ha, oh, ha, bang, fuck, I'm dead. Uh, okay, uh... Leaf. So every time I say the word lynx, whoa, whoa, did that bird, that bird didn't attack me, yay. But every time I say the word lynx, I just think Link, and I think Zelda, and I think, hmm, I should probably play that again soon. Hail, friend, and well met. Ah, uh, yes, Henderville. Uh, strange birds, violently high hostile. Yeah, I know, they attacked me on my way here. I know, they're very hostile. Even to creatures much larger than themselves and very territorial. Yes, yet they can be trained. Hinterville uh, have been used occasionally by orcs and evil men in the past. But for the most part, their malice is wholly natural. So the long bears of Althacar fear their door hands uh, rivals are using these birds as spies. It may be so in truth. Unlike some other hawks and falcons, Hinterville of the northern hills favor a mass roosting ground. Okay, so talk to Hanar and Othrakar. Again, we're gonna ignore that for right now because I don't need to go back yet. So that's all I had to do was talk to him about Hendravel. Okay. So next we wanna to talk to Gatson, who is the farmer who we want to see if he will be willing to trade grains to the dwarves of author car because I'm guessing they're hungry spider spider fuck you spider I ran right into that asshole no leave me alone I don't want you um let's see where are you ah uh, there you are hey I have a question for you. Why are you bothering me? I uh, it's true I had a rich I had a rich harvest. Okay. What happened? And I gladly sell it off if I could. I done not I uh, not done Wow, I can't read right that now. I had not done business with the dwarves in the past because those door hands were nasty fellows, but now that the Durin's folk are in charge, I'd be more than willing to do business with them. Oh, great. I do not ask much of you. There may, may just be a chance that you uh, could help me and your dwarf friends together. It seems to uh, me that the stolen grain may still be at the orcs camp not far from here. So go get the grain from the orcs. Uh, I'll not be ignored. Hello there. Maybe you can help me. We're in a bit of a bind here. This is the last farm in North Downs. All of the other landowners have been run off, um, off their places by orcs. I don't mind saying that the orcs who've moved into the area are more than I can handle on my own. I've made ties with a few of them rangers. Okay, so you want me to do stuff. Wait, what? There we go. Stay and hear me out. Sure, talk to. Are you Arthur? No. Can I speak with you a moment? Uh. Ooh. Uh, it's not as good as what I have, but I'm still willing to do shit for y'all. Just because I still have to go collect that grain anyway. Um, and the. Wait, okay, so the orcs are this way. Burning shit. Fucking pyros. What? Screw you. Uh, let's see. And talk to Arthurin. Who's Arthurin? Arthurin. Oh, why do I keep forgetting that guy's name is Arthurin? The dude I just talked to you about the birds. Um, yeah, I'll talk to him later. But in the meantime, you said go to the camp and get the grain, right? That's what I'm doing. I think that's what I'm doing. One down. So grain, grain, grain. Where is your grain? 
Okay, is it going to be on them or... Yeah, okay, I have to go actually pick it up. Oh, there it is. All in a line for me. That's wonderful. Okay. There we go. One bag. Two bag. Three bag. Pick up the bag. There we go. Okay, so that's all of it. Yeah, that was very easy. So because that was so easy, I'm sure he's gonna have something else for me to do. I mean, that's always how the world work, works in this game, right? Spider. Don't run into the spider again. Okay, I'm also supposed to find the Auric Yearling. Um, that's the Auric Skull. How sad would it be if one of the skulls was like the skull of the Yearling I'm supposed to find? Poor little Auric. You know what? Let's make this... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, let's make this really easy and I was going to put on floaty names. But he has a little... He has a little ring above him, so it's really... The young Auric lows plaintively and runs off ahead of you. Please don't get too far ahead. Please don't. There, there's Orcs out there. Please don't do that. Isn't it so cute? I want one. Oh, I want one. They're so cute. For those of you who don't know what Auric is, um, yes, there, there, well, there used to be such thing as Auric. Auric is a word for wild cows. They don't exist anymore. There, there are absolutely no wild cows left in the world anymore. Oh, he fights too? That's it. I want to pet Oryx. Oh my gosh, that's so great. I want to pet Oryx. I'm going to train it up and it's going to be ec really strong. It's going to help me fight through this world. God, those things are so cute. But yeah, Oryx are uh, wild cows. They don't exist anymore. Um, like, everything, like every cow you'll see from now on is usually a tamed cow, so. I think, like, you can even, like, even if you go to Africa, there's, like, those ones uh, that you see out in the wild are still considered tame or something. So, yeah, we learned about it in, like, one of my anthropology classes. And I'm like, oh, it's so sad that orcs don't exist anymore. Because they're so freaking adorable. At least they are in this game. <laughs> uh, come on. There we go. But the crazy thing is, when I found out about, um, like, when we were talking about Oryx in a class, um, my first thought was, like, I, I raised my hand. I was like, you know what? If you play Lord of the Rings online, they have Oryx in that game. And it just blew my mind that we were talking about it then because I think like the night before that I was I was playing this and then he, he mentions Oryx and I was just like, ah, Oryx, I love these guys. At least I like them here because I don't have to attack them right now and they don't attack me. I thought this was a random hobbit in the middle, uh, uh, in the middle of the world, like an NPC, but no, it's a character, someone's actually, it's a player, so. Come on. Hey, I, I, I just wanted to see something. It feels like it goes so much faster when you're in first person. It really does. Like, if you zoom out, it feels like you're going slower. But when you zoom in... What do you need? Okay, so got the grain stack and I have to bring... What do you need? It's a fine job, a right fine job. I... Um, I say thanks for your help. Okay, um, which one can I sell for more? This, okay. So I'm just gonna get that and sell it. Thanks, guys. Be back later. 
And I'm not going to go to Authorn right now. Um, that's just, you know, in my log for right now. But anyway, I uh, can close out of this now. And now we're officially going to go see the elves. So I will be back when I am over there. So I'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, so I just made it into Meluinen. Melu I don't know how to say that fucking word. Anyway, uh, first things first. We want to talk to Gandolin. And you are Gandolin. Hello, Gandolin. Megavonin. Uh, Megavonin to you too. Um, you have come from... Uh, we you have come from region at Othercar. Strange days these are. When the Longbeards ask an elf for aid, let me see these records. Ah, it appears that it was an elf who found the the dwarves' load in the first place. That explains this writing, and perhaps also why the dwarves of old never mind mind the load, uh, being too stubborn in those days to ask an elf for help. It appears that these records refer to a map that must have once been included with them. I hope Regin has that map, for the records are not detailed enough to stand on their own. Um, I will write this out in such letters that Regin should have no pr uh, trouble reading. Thank you! You were a lot of help, even though I'm sure that as a runekeeper and an elf, I should have been able to read that myself and hand it right back to him. I'm sorry, I'm really raging on the fact that I, I can't read it. At least, like, at least have the little mini game for the room keepers to, to, like, read it out and then hand it to him. I mean, come on. I am an elf, and I'm a room keeper, so I should be able to read elven rooms. Okay. Mago Vanen. Uh, greetings. I wish I could extend you a warmer welcome, but these are dark times for the elves. The shout I'm an elf myself, so I know, I understand. Yeah. The shadow of the enemy has grown longer, long, longer than perhaps any had thought, and the elves of Lin Giliath uh, have paid the price of for our complaint. Mind my Ugh, words, traveler. I cannot read right now. Uh, the Council of Estilden. I wish that I could simply commit to such an endeavor, but it is not uh, so simple. Many of my people are nearly overcome with grief and anger at the what happened here, and the threats against Lingiliath are not yet dealt. Uh, are dealt with. Our scouts tell me that the orcs in Nonwatherin are planning to move against us soon. The scouts say that those orcs are being led by. A great Uruk of Angmar named Drukord. Um, so basically, he wants us to kill Drukord. Uh, use the Elfstone, which allows you access to inspiration, buff while still the war. Okay. I actually remember this quest. Um, okay, so he gave us the Elfstone, which comes in handy when you're, like I said, Owen says. It gives you inspiration when you're on the solo, when you're doing the solo. Um, anyway, I, no, no, not stealth, not stealth. Horse, get your fucking horse out. There we go. Anyway, like I said, I remember this quest, and I, it, it would be awesome if, you know, after we finish with this, he let us keep the elf stone for other times we may need to use it. Uh, but, yeah, that doesn't happen. I am totally cheating by going up the side like this. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just attack orcs as I go, because I want to finish up my, uh, that deed for it. How many do I need to kill, anyway? Orc Slayer? Uh, I need to kill... 73 more, is that what it was? I just want to keep following this path until I get somewhere over here. But yeah, basically, I'm not trying to attack these guys right now because, like I said, they can probably kick my ass right now. Hello. Um, so... I'm going the right way, right? Yeah, okay. I 
I should probably put the floaty names on just in case that there is one of those high higher level guys who want to attack me. Because pretty much right now I'm just walking, I'm walking right through their camp, not paying any attention. You're level 24. So yeah, I think it's like once you're, to be a good place to draw upon the elf sense power. Let's do it. Yeah, that would be a great place to do it. <laughs> Imagine if I kept walking and just right into this asshole. Is it working yet? It's not working. This is not a place to draw. This is not a place? Yes, it is. There we go. It's working. Okay, let's go ahead and start attacking people. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, so, how far in is he in, in here? That's what I want to know. There we go. <sighs> Wait, okay, it's pointing this way. Okay, which way do you guys think he is? This way or that way? There's two little rings. So he could be at either one. Oh, you know what? That's pointing this way. That's just the, that's the way I just came in. So I'm going to go ahead and just go this way first. I'm going to be so angry if I go to one and he's not there. It makes me walk all the way across the map again to the other place. There we go. Let's see. I still need to find these two places. Uh, and kill quite a few orcs. Honestly, if I can ignore them in this area, I'm willing to because they are pretty tough. Ooh, works. Um, how do I get down there without jumping? Walk around, apparently. I love how dark it is down here. That's some spookiness, I guess. Going. Holy shit, there's a ton of them. If they all attack me at once, I'm going to cry. Dude, it's so fucking dark. I can, like, really barely see. You were stupid enough to go off by yourself. So that means I can attack you alone. No one to help you. Um. Apparently these guys really don't go as a pack because they just don't give a shit. At least these two give a shit. I attack one and the other one attacks me. So the other, but all the rest of them I guess weren't friends. They were just like, ha, he's being attacked, fuck you. Stop it! Why Why is this doing this? Oh. <laughs> my phone was leaning on my mouse pad on the, on the, um... Uh, yeah, so it was holding it down for me, but... Wait, did I not have to come down here to go... Shit! I didn't even have to come down here? Mmm! How am I already lost? 
So I was supposed to go a fuck. I was supposed to go around this way. Why why did I go that other way? Just why? What what part of me was like, hey, this seems like a good idea? I, I, sh I honestly should have realized this was, that was the wrong way when I saw water everywhere. Be like, okay, there's no more road. Now I have water. Why do I keep walking this way? Um, there we go. Is he over here? Let's kill these guys first. Here he is. I wanted to get you all alone because getting attacked by everything at once is not really something I like. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, wake up. There we go. That was simple enough. Now I'll make my way back over there. Well, I think I'm gonna just pause it here and get come back when I'm at the uh, camp. So I'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, so I'm back in uh, Lingilia, and you know, I'm just gonna turn this in, and then I think I'm gonna end this episode here for today. Mind my words, traveler. And I'm probably going to do some of these quests off screen just to get my level up a little bit because, you know, honestly, I'm a little, I'm 34 and these are like 35, 36 quests. That's the suggested level for them. Honestly, you don't have to be that high up, but I want to be, so. How can I be of service? Oh, you have done it. We heard the wails of the orcs from here. Wow, they were loud then. Uh, you have seen the safety of Lingilia, and for this, uh, you have my thanks. Great. A select one. Uh, well, only thing I can use, which actually looks pretty good right now, brings down my Why vitality. Why you spend a moment of your time? The, uh, with the Eric uh, Jukord, uh, slain the threat of orcs is lessened, and I am free to come to the Council of Selden. Sweet! He's coming too. Awesome! So anyway, like I said, I'm ending it here for today. Let me go ahead and do a couple of these, like that, and uh, someone else wanted me to do something. Was it you? Will no, you I'm, not doing, I'm not doing any of the fellowship quests, because I'm a wuss, and I don't want to do those. Might you spare a moment of your time? Uh, I honestly think I can do this. I'm going to go ahead and accept that one, too. Um, Mind my words, traveler. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. And this last guy has a fellowship quest, so, like spared a yeah, moment no. of your time. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll be back with another episode soon. So, bye guys.